Hey everyone, uh, thanks for checking out Pre-Order Now. My name is Jude and I'm the Ops Manager of this amazing, beautiful application called Pre-Order Now. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to enable your very first pre-order product on your store. To get started, open the app and click on install or uninstall tab right here click on it and select your theme in my case I'm using a debut theme therefore I've chosen the debut theme so feel free to choose yours okay uh, don't forget get to hit the save button here because uh, this step is crucial as our app will adapt its settings according to what you select in here if by chance your theme is not included in this list then just choose the default it's okay all right just don't forget to hit the save button now the next step is to go back home <laughs> uh, home tab that is and then type the name of your product in this field and then hit enter or click the search button here i'm going to be using my salad as an example and for the sake of context um, this is how it looks at the moment you see it's sold out uh, we've set this product with a bunch of variants in it so we're gonna enable the pre-order for this particular variant the size is small and the package is to take all right okay so let's search for that great uh, pre-order now seems to found our product hit the edit button which is this pen icon right here like so uh, for this example we will be enabling pre-order only to this uh, specific variant leaving the rest of the variants as is we're not going to be touching this uh, remember the small size and to take package so we're going to enable this one and we will be using the default settings for now hit the save button and we're prompted with this message about um, overselling so this will not break your site this is normal I'll explain this in a bit but for now let's choose save and enable great you should see a pre-order enabled text on your screen like this one it should be green not yellow not red green because we have a bunch of color indicators right here okay all right um, going back to the term oversell what exactly is that um, when you create a product in Shopify and you've indicated the number of stocks say for this one we have zero for this variant we have eight click edit and this is what you're presented with now in the inventory section right here notice that you have this option Th this option tells your store to whether or not it will continue to sell out of stock products or variants so by default this particular checkbox is unchecked it's disabled basically the prompt that we saw earlier is let's just say pre-order now check this for you or enable this one for you okay so that will enable overselling therefore even if the product is zero it will continue to sell and since we're on the topic of stocks let me give you a brief explanation of what default settings and custom settings are or the difference um, the default settings is the settings found on the settings tab right here so I've just clicked it you can call this your global settings because uh, all your pre-order product will inherit all the settings in this area okay so that's basically it so for the custom settings 
if I choose the custom settings, what it basically does is overwrite your default settings. Okay? So this is very useful, especially if you want the text to be different for a particular product or a variant or maybe a different pre-order message. You, you, you get the point, right? So, yeah. Uh, furthermore, there's one thing that I need to note. It's, uh, it's this one. Because everything here is easy to understand. But I want to give a bit more attention to this part. This stock uh, section right here. So if I enable in an in inventory management, because by default, this is disabled. Okay. Again, during your fresh install of our app, this is disabled. If I enable this, you will be presented with two options. Method one is pre-order when your stock is more than zero. Method two is pre-order if your stock is below or is zero okay so by default um we are this is disabled so you might want to check this one out every time you set a product to pre-order okay let's save it okay um we've enabled pre-order for our variant and we've confirmed our default settings which enables pre-order if the stock is zero right here uh, let's see if salad here is on pre-order okay looks like it is um, if you've followed everything and that th it didn't work for some reason or there's no badges there's no buttons and etc just reach out and we'll do the magic for you I'll be adding our contact information in the description below. And finally, let me know down in the comments your questions or maybe your customization settings that you want to address. And um, I'll try to address those in the next video. So uh, I'll try my best to read all, them, all of them and uh, discuss it here. Okay? Thanks again.